how you are you put yourself in the simplest family out after this is implemented. And so what I am talking is uh, about this structure that uh, uh, we call net, net three, actually implemented by Francesco Serafin, one uh, PhD student of mine who is finishing now, is going to graduate this year. So, so is writing the thesis. So this also uh, answer to a question that we have before on parameters. Uh, we don't know if this phrase is really uh, uh, by Einstein, but <laughs> one thing is yeah, to, uh, you have to we have this effort to keep the thing simpler, which is the Occam razors. Don't do the thing too much complicated. But, uh, if you do too simple, the one the result of the, the argument before is you maybe it's too much simple to, to see the effect that they are actually seeing or measuring. What exactly does this graph? Uh, the, uh, in the net three, it is a uh, infrastructure, informatic infrastructure that treat this graph, and actually this modify the way the sim file uh, are done, which is we create a new structure. In particular, that you will find to have a file CSU, comma separated value file, which contain the connections, <coughs> which is a simple, a simple file like this. And it says that the uh, point four go to zero, and zero is the outlet actually. Uh, uh, ball three goes to ball four. Ball six goes to ball three, and that's the interpretation of this file. And this establish your connections. Um, now when you are doing, uh, talking about the problem of parameters, in principle you have different parameters for any subcatchment. So if you have measurements there, you can characterize the, the parameters spatially, seeing how they vary Assume that I have a uh, gauge station here and the uh, meteor station there and this, this for any basis I can calibrate separately each any of the basis so I can have different parameters in any subcatchment. As you can imagine if I have 10,000 uh, <coughs> such subcatchments <laughs> this is uh, quite a word to have different 10,000 set of different parameters so you usually to you resort to to have uh, much of them different, different uh, the same parameters that you assign once for, a, for every time. So you have another file which is called uh, uh, params csv in this case, but the name is is not uh, the name you, you just specify then in the in the in another sim file. So you can change. But uh, what you say here is. Uh, you, you can you tell uh, which one the common parameters that you are using for that catch method. I don't actually know if you use no here. I don't think you, you use no, but the model can do no uh, with the, uh, actually with three sub models. That's another topic we can talk in any case, but it would be another week for going to those topics. And uh, and, uh, uh, and here you have, and uh, Michele, and during the exercise you do, you will be uh, driven to understand what exactly they mean. You say add parameters, run off, max, one, and this is the same parameter for all the subcatchment, for all the sub Sorry, Ricardo, a very stupid question. What is the acronym uh, ERM? Embedded Reservoir, reservoir Model. Okay. <laughs> this is a new type of C file. In these days, you saw a lot of C files uh, where, uh, for a, a, let's say, a single structure, here you see. You have a new type of uh, keyword, which is graph, with a traverser, because uh, 
you, have, you can have different strategies to go through the graph. And uh, uh, the traversal we used here is downstream hold. Uh, I don't think uh, there are other strategies implemented yet. But the idea was that if we could have a strategy, a different strategy means that you start from all the leaves of the tree, you go down, then you start from all the trees of the leaves in contemporary, then you go the water down, uh, downhill, and so on. And uh, components here is empty, and uh, in this case, but probably because in this type of uh, things, components, you don't. Uh, banks are going to say that uh, uh, for all the uh, uh, for all the initial use, for all the seven uh, parts you have, you are overwriting the parameters uh, that, in principle, you can read from the single. Okay. Rewind a little bit. Uh, you have to provide, in any case, a SIM file for each of the hill slope. In our case, here we have seven one. We have, we have to provide seven SIM files, uh, each for one hill slope, where you have to put work uh, as usual, as you were used to do, which is pretty cumbersome, I know. Especially if you have 1,000 uh, subcatchment, and now you have to use to do by hand. But that gives you a lot of flexibility at this moment, and uh, is a, a, an intermediate stage to towards a, a version where uh, this will be done kind of automatically. The creation of several SIM files through some other programs that helps you to manage the the, the information. But now we have to do by hand. So, uh, and this, this, this instead are the graph and the params and the things are the general file that refers to the overall infrastructure. The, the first one refers to the topological connection of the, of the graph. The second one refers to the fact that uh, on several subcatchment, uh, we overwrite the parameters, and we use, uh, and these are the uh, common parameters <coughs> for those sub subcatchments. <coughs> and uh, actually, where you see, where you say <coughs> which parameters, in which uh, uh, subcatchment you use the general parameters, is here in these flags. Override means you take uh, the general parameters and you use the general parameters for each one of the of that subcatchment and you don't use uh, those written in the single SIM file. Meaning that in single SIM file that you, for each single subcatchment, you can have maybe, you can just cut and paste a, a cut and paste the structure of the same the same C file uh, if you use always the same model because in principle you can use different models for the in different type of models for any of the subcatchments. <laughs> if you think that for instance the embedded reservoir model is too complicated for one subcatchment and you want just to have a simple linear reservoir in one model, you want subcatchment and you can do it. Uh, the other, in, in the seventh place, you can do, use completely different type of modeling. So, so, you, so you should <coughs> use also lakes. So and you? Lakes and the reservoirs. Yes, you can add. Uh, the uh, yeah, the structure is. Physical reservoirs, hydraulic reservoirs. Yes, 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 you can do every, everything yeah. you want. That is uh, absolutely, absolutely, uh, um, Customizable. If you have uh, the way to characterize differently, or, or use the, or a reason for using different models in different places, you you can you can do. If you potentially, if you have all the all the world, and you know that in a in a, in a certain catchment there is no snow, 
you can use a simpler model where you don't have the reservoir and the part of snow for those sub catchments. And uh, this say, anyway, over wide, uh, uh, over wide this. You have all this parameter file, and here you say that all the seven things say took the same parameter CSU. So in principle, for instance, one thing is Meledrio. Meledrio has two parts, the, the, the hydrological right is going up to the uh, Dolomites, and the other one is more or less mild. So different slopes, different geology, <coughs> different type of thing. One, one can say, wow, why? The, the right part of the basin has to work uh, ideologically similar to the left part. If we are able to characterize the uh, geological, lithological, and the slope differences between the parts, we in some parameter we can use we can use two para params <coughs> and say, oh, all the catchment on the right use params one, and the other one use params two. So uh, <coughs> this is uh, okay. In this case, in the calibration, uh, it, it, uh, it is a, a SIM file set up for a calibration. You already seen something like this. Here we are using another calibrator, uh, which is called Luca. Let's ask calibrate. Uh, in practice, uh, or Michele or Nicolò is showing you how Luca works not with the physical part. And uh, here you, you have the, the usual, the components used in the model, you see. And, and the parameters, this is the, the business as usual for who knows how to do this with the SIM file. We have all the parameters that enter those part. This is also business as usual, obviously um, is very annoying to, to read each one of contents of this, of this, but who is doing the simulation? So you, <laughs> you will take care of reading each one of them to understand what is, is going on, but uh, you can recognize chunks of things that are uh, the usual one, reading uh, the start date, the input date, the no value. Uh, uh, this is the there's no parameters. We have the the short wave radiations parameters. You recognize also from the name for that you we are giving, and uh, this is the <coughs> the other. I don't know what exactly it is. That, and, but anyway, the, please use always uh, names that are explicit that tells you what you are doing actually, as a, actually we do here. This is about uh, the FAREA index, as you see, for who does, uh, uh, who does uh, remote sensing and use the FAREA index, because the model that you will use for mm -hmm. doing ev evapotranspiration will use the amount of leaves you have on, on the trees which is not so common. This is not uncommon, but not so common. It depends. Can you do that in SWAT or SWAT? Soil water assessment tool, for instance. <coughs> and here, uh, obviously here we have a lot of, uh, we have five things, so, so we have a lot of components. Um, and um, here, and uh, here you have the connections by hand. Very cumbersome to pursue because you have to take into account all the connections of these five models, <coughs> and then at the end, uh, the 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 net restructures take care of how to 
to run to run all the all the stuff. Actually, one question could could be raised by someone is, but if you have, have we have, uh, <coughs> in principle, there is no difference between now between this graph here and the other graph that I say is kind of orthogonal of the embedded reservoir system. So in principle, you can use the same structure to separate the whole thing. The, gra the net tree, uh, the graph is self similar. So uh, for, uh, uh, for convenience or representation, uh, we, we are building the sim file, putting in the sim file all the components that, uh, that constitute the five main, main components that, that constitute the embedded reservoir system, uh, system. But you can, if you explode this one with the other graph, you can think that this as a tree, <coughs> and you can use uh, and you can uh, you can use differently the, the organization of the net tree for running running the model. So in that case, this the, each one of these sim files become uh, becomes more simple because we you will have the sim file for that component. <laughs> So, um, you have <coughs> the connection and um, you have also outfluxes and influxes. In the sense, because of the structure is, uh, uh, is quite um, interesting and one, one, one interesting thing of this w would be that uh, 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 maybe Meledio is part of a large river, in this case the Noche, uh, the Noche River, or Noche Torrents, if you want. So we want at the end, uh, and we want to have a piece of Noche modeled at the uh, below point 0.4. So um, we don't want to model all the rest of Noche, which is upstream of 4. Because we have, we have from four going in that direction, you, you, you have the whole rest of the Norcia River, which is, I, I don't know, 500 square kilometers, more or less. With all this is complexity, maybe you have less years. We are thinking you, you, at the moment, you don't want to take care of all this complexity. Fortunately, we have a gauge station just up in here and that measure the inflow. And then you, you want to study a piece here. So you explicitly model the meledrio, you take the measure up there, you put in the inflow <coughs> outflow, and you can use part measures and part modeling. <coughs> also part of uh, yeah, this. Uh, no, this is another thing. Uh, okay, but the, the concept is the same. You have you can uh, you can add fluxes that you just measure and plug in without modeling if you have the occasion. This make the structure very flexible because. Uh, if you have a gauge station right here and a gauge station right here, you can use this one, model explicitly this one, and the results here. Uh, which is the header of this file? <coughs> ah, the header of this file is on top of uh, two slides before. So, but that is a, a short description, and then uh, with uh, Michele you will see the detailed part of 